I would have thought you uh, wear your sanctions from China with pride. Well, it has been a, a badge of honour, those seven parliamentarians. And let me make it clear, it's not just Conservative MPs complaining about uh, this. The letter which I've sent today is on behalf of the other sanctionees, including Labour peers, Baroness Kennedy and David uh, Alton as well, uh, crossbencher peers. So this is a crossbench approach in just the same way that it was a unanimous vote of the House of Commons uh, earlier this uh, this year that recognised the genocide that China has been uh, committing. So frankly, sanctioning the seven of us, we wear the badge of honour, but it's been a huge recruiting sergeant for people coming up from the woodwork now prepared to stand up to China, to call out to China and to challenge uh, the huge abuses that they've been carrying on and continue to carry on, which is why they shouldn't be coming to the state funeral. And there is, of course, Mr. Loughton, uh, the small matter of China's lies and obfuscation at the early stages of the COVID-19 pandemic. Well, that's just one of a, uh, a series of things, which is why China is the most dangerous nation in the world at the moment. Not only the industrial scale human rights abuses against the Uyghurs in uh, Xinjiang, which have been exposed. They've been doing this for the last 60 years against the Tibetans and the increasing suppression of people in Hong Kong, where they've completely torn up uh, the Anglo-Chinese uh, agreement when we handed back uh, uh, Hong Kong. They are infiltrating infrastructure projects across the world, which is why our governments had to legislate against them. Hawaii being uh, involved in our 5G projects and others. They are infiltrating our university campuses, our schools through their Confucius uh, institutes. And of course, they have never prepared to lay bare the facts about how the uh, COVID pandemic actually um, started. This is a deeply dangerous nation and to treat them on the same basis as other law abiding states who are sending their presidents, their prime ministers and others, nations who recognize the international rule of law, know what it is and, and abide by it. They cannot be treated on the same basis, which is why, frankly, it's an insult to the Queen that they should have had the red carpet rolled out for them uh, if they are going to be invited to come on Monday.